The word retire means you can do anything you want from this day on. So if I desire to come back and play again, maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe that's the challenge that I may need someday down the road. And that day has arrived. Michael Jordan warming up at Market Square Arena more than three hours before today's scheduled tip-off. 21 months have passed since Michael Jordan last played competitive basketball. For 21 months, the NBA was without its supreme artist. There may be many interesting peripheral aspects to both his departure and return, but at the heart of it is simply this. The best in the world is back. And in a sports world darkened by constant talk of money, strikes, and lockouts, here's a shining reminder of why we're drawn to sports in the first place. The drama, the anticipation, the sheer beauty of the moment. Today, an artist returns to his true canvas, the hardboard courts of the NBA. Michael Jordan is back. Here's the starting lineup for today's visitor, the Chicago Bulls. And one forward, 6'7", from Central Arkansas, number 33, Scotty Pippen. At the other forward, 6'11", from Croatia, number 7, Tony Kukoc. At center, 7 feet from Vanderbilt, number 32, Will Perdue. At one guard, 6'2", from Iowa, number 10, B.J. Armstrong. At the other guard, 6'6", six, six from North Carolina, number 45, Michael Jordan. The head coach, Phil Jackson, the Chicago Bulls. The last five minutes and 34 seconds since Michael Jordan made his return after that nine minute stint in the first quarter with Michael back on the floor. Pacers with a 15 3 advantage. Jordan still looking for his first field goal. And the first time the Chicago Bulls just went flat out isolation for Michael. Reggie Miller knowing that Jordan has been struggling from the field did the wise thing and got off him because he knew Michael was thinking possible drive here gave him the jumper and Michael finally nails it. Nailed it. Well Dale missed a James with those shoulder problems. He said he's back but he's really not back at 100% but having an outstanding day. Michael Jordan. Jackson. That's by the double team as Jordan comes over to help. For 15. Myers posting up on Fleming. Who comes with the fake? Shot clock at eight. Jordan for Kuko. Yes! Michael Jordan with the feed for Tony Kuko. We're double up on Jordan. Time running out. Here on the third. Jordan played by Fleming. Down to five seconds. Now they double up. Here's Jordan slicing his face on the wedding zone. Byron Scott not wanting to let Byrne Fleming face Jordan. 101 comes out, but overruns the play, leaving another wide open lane for Michael to get in there, draw the defense, and get the easy one for Bill Wennington. So Michael Jordan setting up Bill Wennington to conclude matters here in the third. Indiana 88, Chicago 81, 15 from Michael Jordan. Well, Dale Davis to get back in there and slot it out. However, the Bulls do recapture the ball. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. And the game is tied at 94. Comes up hobbling, cuts it down to one. A minute 32 remaining in overtime. All right, Michael, you got one under your belt. <laughs> How does it feel? Well, as you see, my timing was a little bit off today. I mean, I was just trying to get my rhythm back, and I don't know if it was a good game for me to come back. Reggie seemed very energized, and, uh, you know, so it's, it's my first game back, and 
Yeah, you know, I know it's not going to happen in one game. It's going to take a little bit to I get my timing back, but hey, I'm back. That's all that matters. Does it concern you, though, with the playoffs so close that you will get your timing back in time? Perfect timing. I'm not worried about that. I think in you know, a couple games, I should have my timing back, but... You know, this is not a playoff game, and it's not, you know, I know we want to win, but for me, I mean, I, I, I really got to take my time and, and try to work my way back in. Let's clear up a few things that have come up. They're talking about you. When you coming back, you had some assurances that Scotty Pippen was going to be here and B.J. Armstrong. Is that any truth to that? I'm only back for the love of the game. I'm not back here for extra money. I'm not back here, you know, I was hoping, and, and I'm still hoping that Scotty Pippen and B.J. and still all those guys would be back, and, uh, you know, so it's not my place to make those decisions, but, uh, you know, quite simply, I, I hope everything works out, you know, for all three of those guys, but, you know, I'm back for the love of the game. And what about the fact that you had something that you didn't have to go to practice, or some kind of clause that you wouldn't practice? No, I, I love practice. I need to practice. I cannot skip practice. I need it. You know, today really showed me I need to get back into practice. The last question, Michael, you left at your peak. If you don't come back and lead this team to a championship, do you worry that this might have something, mess up your mystique a bit? No, I'm not worried about that. I mean, uh, you know, you're not expected to win every time, but I'm back here to try to help my team win, and, uh, you know, we certainly got a good opportunity. Well, it was great to have you back. We'll see you next week. I hope so. All right. Thanks, Michael.